Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Aminul Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous videos, I explained the interpretation of various kinetics and isotherm models. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I would like to explain how to interpret LOV's kinetic model. This video is very important, so please do not skip. Well, main assumptions to understand the chemisorption nature of adsorption, the Elovis model is applied. This model helps to predict the mass and surface diffusion, activation and deactivation energy of a system. The model assumes that the rate of adsorption of solute decreases exponentially as the amount of adsorbed solute increase and this model is used to describe the chemical adsorption and is applicable to heterogeneous surfaces the model assumes as said earlier and alloys equation has been widely used in adsorption kinetics which describes chemical adsorption mechanism in nature and this model is suitable for describing chemisorption on adsorbents with complicated surfaces that that is to say LOB's model is for chemisorption not physisorption well so here is uh, LOB's equation the first one is nonlinear equation and the second one is linear equation and in my previous videos I have showed how to fit these equations using Origin Pro, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Excel Solver where QT, is, uh, QT refers to instant adsorption amount, alpha is the prime primary rate of adsorption, beta represents desorption parameter and it is used to characterize activation energy and degree of chemisorption. So now the interpretation, if R square values are higher than other model, then it is said that the uptake of certain adsorbent onto a surface involve mainly chemisorption. If R square value is lower than other models, then it can be said that chemisorption is not the primary mechanism. And the graph of QT versus T helps to determine the nature of adsorption onto heterogeneous surface of the adsorbent, whether chemisorption or not. So these are the reference from where most of the informations have been collected. In my next video, I will explain how to interpret other adsorption kinetic and isotherm models. Thanks for watching. Please do visit Aminul Cam Innovation, like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe for new videos.